Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to explain how you can fix the no list available on this site in the quick chart web part error message. So I was working on something similar the other day um, where I, I added a quick chart web part onto a page. Um, I went to get some data from a list, um, or actually it was a document library in this case that I was working with, but that doesn't make any difference for, from this message. And I noticed that it came up and said no list available on this site, which I knew can't be true because I actually had uh, a list that was set up in this way. Um, and actually, when I was doing a little bit of research in Google, um, it, it actually wasn't well documented what the fix for this was. Some people suggested maybe make sure you've got data inside of your list and things like that. But I had I, I had made sure that I got data inside of my list um, and it still wasn't showing up inside of here. Um, some people recommended, well, wait longer, see if it comes through then. Uh, I gave it 24 hours and it still didn't pull anything through um, and I still didn't get anything um, um, uh, that, that I wanted to actually pull through into my web part. So, um, so there's loads of other advice online saying make sure you've got the right level of access and things like that, which of course um, you should make sure you've got the right levels of access. But if you've been able to create the list and you've been able to uh, add the web part to the page, then it's not less necessarily going to be uh, that issue either. Um, now, what I actually found was the problem um, was that actually you must have either a number um, field, so either adding a column and saying a number field, or a currency field before it'll even show up in the options to select from. So now if I create a number field, and let's just call this number to make it nice and easy, um, and add that, and then I'm just going to add in a number value. Um, so let's say this one is going to be 500, this one will be 500, and this one will be 1,000. Just to put some number values in there. Now when I go back into here, um, uh, I might actually just need to refresh the page. Yeah, so I'm just going to republish the page. Uh, give it a second. And edit the page again, then go back to my web part. Now you can see this drop down now appears. This drop down now appears and it's going to then show me my example list. Then I can choose um, the column that has the data display. So it's going to be my number field. And then say column with labels for each title. So I can say it's title. And then you can see there we go. Um, there's my items now displaying. I can also update the horizontal axis. So this could be, for example, example number, vertical axis. Example items, for example. So there we go. So we've got the um, the axis is labelled here, and I can also add a name for my chart. So I can just call this my example chart. And there we go. So that's now got my um, list, or it would work on a library as well. Originally, I was doing this with a library, and that's then pulled that through um, onto here as well. So just a short video. I'm not too sure how many people are necessarily going to find benefit from this, but it was just something I was working through and found that there was no um, real content that I could, I could easily find on how to fix this issue straight away. Um, so I thought it'd be worth kind of putting on here. And then if anyone else was Googling for that, they might just find the video. If you did find it useful, please use comments for you below and let me know. Uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more SharePoint top tips.